Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Good evening, everyone. I thank God. Good evening, beloved. We I bless the name of the Lord, for this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus. I thank everyone. I thank God for your life. I thank God for the grace of waiting upon the Lord this uh, this eight of uh, 14 days fasting and prayer. May the Lord God hack into your prayers in Jesus' name. As we seek the face of God, may his face shine upon us in the name of Jesus. May he favor us. May he answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. May the beauty of the Lord rest upon our works in the name of Jesus. I thank God for everyone. My name is Chichi Prince. Uh, today is day 8 of our prayer and fasting and the topic is surrounded by God. Surrounded by God. Uh, I'm going to quickly read Psalm 125. And Psalm 125 says, As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is about his people from henceforth even forevermore. As the mountains around about Jerusalem so the Lord is around his people from henceforth even forevermore and the book of Zechariah one of our second texts the book of Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5 says uh, let me read from the English version he said I will be, I will be to her a wall of fire all around declares the Lord I will be the glory in her midst this is God's promise for us for this day he said he will surround us he will be with us so i'm taking our exhortation uh exhortation from these two key verses uh we all know for the past two years of this unrelenting pandemic two years into unrelenting pandemic our uh, fear anxiety and uncertainty has become more palpable some some people have been so worried about this tragic and um unsparing havoc that they no longer have confidence in the promise of god this pandemic has as in i keep saying that this pandemic shows our faith this pandemic has shown what we actually believe in this pandemic has shown us those who really trust in the lord who truly believe in the lord because i see this pandemic as an end time thing that's okay the bible has told us that narrow is the way that leads to heaven and broad is the way that leads to hell so we should not allow the situation of the country or pandemic or anything to deter us from doing what God asks us to do. We should, have be we should believe in the word of God that promised us that he will be with us. He said he will help us. He said as mountains surround Jerusalem, so he surrounds us. If you believe God is with you, there is nothing that can happen to you. Paul said if I die, it's, um, it's gain. And if I live, it's still the same thing. So if you have faith in God that yes, if you are here for a a mission you are here for a reason you will live all your life for god because i already told us that we should seek first the kingdom of god and its righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto us if you believe you are surrounded by god god is with you no matter the situation that will come against you you know god has got your back and that should be our confidence each day of the week each day of the year that god is with you have that faith have that belief that god is with you he said he will surround us with wall of fire. That is his promise for us. Believe it and let it enter into our, 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 our memory, uh, into our subconsciousness that God is with you. No matter what happens, God has got your back. So we should not allow the pandemic, we should not allow challenges of war, of the world, we should not allow ill health, we should not allow job joblessness or homelessness to stop us from serving this God because God is with us. We are surrounded by him. So we, sh we should believe that God never fails and his promise never fails. His word is yea and amen. He never lies, me. He, never, he will never change his word. His word is yea and amen. He has surrounded us with his presence, with his love, with peace and power. We can trust for his protection, for his preservation and for his provision. All we need to do is to believe. All you, you and I need to do is to believe. Let's believe this word of God. When we believe, we act on it. We don't allow circumstances. We don't allow anxiety. We don't allow anxiousness. We don't allow the things of the world to let us to like, oh, is this, is this world real? 
can God do it? He said, with man, it's not possible. Not so with God. For with God, all things are possible. Everything is possible with God. Only if you believe. If you say, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, as small as a mustard seed, you will move mountains. The problem with you and I is that we don't have that great faith. We don't have that confidence. We don't have that belief. We are like wearing of the water. We move here. We move there. Today we are here. We are believing God. We believe God for everything. Tomorrow, God, we say, ah, will God actually do it? Can God? do it what is impossible with god absolutely nothing because we're engraving in the palms of his hands he loves us with an everlasting love he said he will never leave us neither will he forsake us he said he has surrounded us with his pinions so when we hold on to god's promises you don't allow issues of the world you don't even allow sicknesses in your body to deter you because you know in whom you believe you believe in the son of god who died for you on the cross of calvary and his name is called jehovah rapha the lord that healeth. he can heal that sickness that sickness is not beyond him he made you he's your creator he made you in his image and in his likeness he knows what you are going through. There are some things that happen to us, not just because of any other thing. It's just that the name of the Lord might be glorified. Something happens in our life. There are sicknesses that come to us, not because of any other thing. It just they ask the disciple asked Jesus, Why is this man blind? What happened to him? Is it his sin? Is this his parents' sin? Jesus answered, He said, Neither of it. It's just that the name of the Lord might be glorified. There are some things that happen in our life, not because of everything, not because of our sin, not because we did bad, not because of anything. It's just that Jesus' name might be glorified. God will not use the wood. He will not use the tree. He will use you and I, who he made in his image, so that his name might be glorified. So no matter the issue, no matter the challenges, no matter the chaos that is happening in your life, no matter the turbulence, believe that it shall come to pass. There is nothing beyond God. There is nothing impossible with God. If only we have faith. If only we believe that we are surrendered by God. If only we believe that we are we dwell in the sacred place of the Most High God. We abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We say of the Lord, He is our refuge and He is our fortress. In Him we, we trust. That is the word. That is what He has promised us. If every one of us can be reciting Psalm 91 every day of our life throughout this period. No harm will befall us. He said the thousand shall fall at our side. Ten thousand by our right hand. With our eyes we shall see it. Yes, it's only if we believe. When we surround ourselves with the word of God, when we speak the word, when that issues, when the, all those feelings come to you, you we cancel it with the word of the Lord. We don't allow that negative report, that negative news, that evil mindset. To, the enemy is always talking. You want to discourage you. You want to tell you that God cannot do it. You want to tell you that God does not love you. You want to tell you that God does not answer your prayers. But you will not allow him. You say, no, I know God loves me. We can use Jesus' example. Jesus fasted for 40 days. How dare the son of the living God, a righteous man, the first person he saw was devil. Can you correlate it? A man who was a righteous man who fasted for 40, 40 days. No food, no water, no nothing. He was on the mountain. The first person that accosted him was devil. This devil does not have fear. So how about to you? So issues will come. No matter you are praying, you are fasting. But what, how did Jesus conquer that thing? He, he canceled it with the word of God. David wanted to be, to be sure that God, Jesus knows his identity. We must know our identity. We will not allow the devil to give us to a misplaced identity. So as we wait upon the Lord, as we seek the face of God, believe in what we are praying. Believe that God will come answer your prayer. Believe that every of this issue will come to pass. Believe that this reason is for the intimacy of God. God is your best friend. He's your God. He's your lover. He's your, he is the shepherd of your soul. Nobody can do you better than Jesus. So you hold on to him. Doctor's report does not matter. Your rebellious child does not matter. God confessed because it's God that created all those things. And he said the heart of man is in the hands of God. Everybody is in the hands of God. He directs wherever he wishes. It's just for us to speak the word, believe the word, hold on to the word, hold on to his promises and everything shall come to pass. There is no situation that is permanent in this life. There is no issue, there is no trouble that is permanent. Everything comes to pass. The Bible says it came to pass. It must come to pass. So that issue you may be going through, that challenge child, that rebellious child, that illness is in your body, whatever, say, Lord, 
it shall come to pass. I will testify. The Bible says we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. You must speak the word. You must declare the word. And you must believe the word. And you must act on the word. We should not be like the sea, wavering up and down. So that's my uh, exhortation this, this evening. So as we begin to pray, we are going to pray fervently for our protection. Just like I said, Psalm 91, everyone, if you're a midnight commander, you're a revival light church member, every day pray Psalm 91 for yourself and for your household. Do not miss Psalm, Psalm 91. It's a prayer of protection. It is a prayer of protection. Pray it every day, every day, and say it unto you will be divinely protected. No evil. You will not die. Your children will not die in the name of Jesus. The Lord will protect you. He's a shield round about us. Let's begin to pray. We're going to pray our uh, focus. Every one of us, please, you can open to your um, bulletin. He said we should pray fervently for the protection of our health against the COVID-19 and every other sickness. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for our health, O oh Lord, because you are you are held to our body, O oh Lord. Father, O oh God, we ask of you that Lord protect us from the attack of the enemy, from COVID-19. No matter the sickness, no matter the diagnosis, no matter the ailment, no matter the name the doctor calls it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, our oh Lord, we ask of you that you protect us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have promised that you will be a wall of fire round about us. Oh Lord, oh God, be a wall of fire round about me. Be a wall of fire round about my household. Be a wall of fire round about my community. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's pray for, that our life from accidents, from violence and suddenness. Say, Lord, I will not. I come against accidents. I come against violence. I come against suddenness. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against accidents this year, 2022. In the name of Jesus, no matter the accidents, go home accidents, road accidents, no matter the accident, we come against it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against violence. Father, wherever the violence is happening, we will not be a partaker. In the name of Jesus, it will not come into our home. It will not come near us in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against sudden death. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against sudden death. No sudden death. I shall not die. I shall live to declare the glory of God in the land of the living. Brethren, open your mouth. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. But I shall live to declare the glory of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let's pray for our mind. The Lord protects our mind from lies, from falsehood, from conspiracy theory. Father, we come against every form of lie. Every form of lie. No matter the lie that the enemy wants to tell us against God. The enemy is always telling lies. He is the father of all lies. Any lie that the enemy is telling our children, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against falsehood. Father, we come against falsehood. We come against conspiracy theory. We hold on to your word. Only your word will believe. Your word is yea and amen. You are not man that you should lie. Neither are you the son of man that should repent of your word. Father, we hold on to your word. Father, keep our mind that we hold on to the truth. Because you are the way, the truth, and the life. You are the way. You are the truth. You are the life. Father, I hold on to your way. I hold on to the truth. And I hold on to life that you have given unto me. Because you have given me the all that pertains to life and godliness. I hold on to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, protect my mind. Because you have given me the mind of Christ. Decree and declare that I have the mind of Christ. 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 My children have the mind of Christ. My home have the mind of Christ. Everyone in my household have the mind of Christ. We do not believe the lies of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. We do not believe, believe conspiracy theory. In the name of Jesus Christ. We believe the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is truth. We hold on to the truth of the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We we'll bless your name. Let's pray for our finances. The Lord will protect our finances from bad decisions, from misfortune, from loss, and from lack. Begin to pray for your finances. None of us shall lack. In this, in this family, we don't lack. We do not lack. No midnight commander shall lack. Because Jehovah Jireh is our, is our supplier. 
He supplies all of our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. He is our shepherd. He is Jehovah Rohi. He said we shall never be in lack. He said goodness and mercy shall follow us every day of our life. He said he has prepared a table before us in the very presence of our enemies. When God prepares a table for you, how can you lack? Ask, come against everything that will make you to lack. You can never lack. Jehovah Jireh is your father. Jehovah Rohi is your father. He provides everything according to you, his riches in glory. Whatever you need, Jehovah Jireh is your father. Call upon Jehovah Jireh. Say, Lord, supply every of my needs according to your word. Say, Jehovah Rohi. You said, I will never lack. I will never lack. My children will never lack. We shall, not be, we shall have more than enough to give out in the name of Jesus Christ. Because our father is the owner of the universe. We are royalty children. We are children of the king of kings. How can a child of a king be lacking? It is not possible. It's a misnomer. For, so therefore, you will not lack. Say, Lord, this year, I will not lack. I will have more than enough to give to Midnight Commander, to give to NGOs, to give to social organizations, to give to my community. I will have more than enough to give to my community. People shall know me for giving. I will be a generous giver. I will be a cheerful giver. In this year, 2022, I will be a generous giver. I will be a cheerful giver. I will give because I have abundance. I will give even when I do not even have. I will give. Because that is the word of our God is a cheerful giver. He gave his only begotten son. If he can give his only begotten son, how much more? What do you have that God cannot give to you? What do you want that God cannot give to you? A cattle and a cow, that's all his, they're all his. And you are his child. If a cattle and a thousand are his, they're all his. It belongs to my father. Can, why can't I have more than enough to myself? I have more than enough to give to my friends. That is the realm I'm living right now. I cannot lack. I cannot, I cannot be beggarly. No, it is not my portion. My father is not beggarly. My father owns the universe. So we are going to pray that, Lord, if no matter what that will cause me to be in lack this year, be it bad decision, I come against, Father, give me wisdom to make the right decision. On my finances, I will make the right decision. In the name of Jesus Christ, help me to make the right decision over my finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I come against loss. Any way the enemy wants to come and steal from me, I come against the devourer. The devourer will not come to me because I'm a titan. The devourer will not come to me because I'm a titan. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because I give to the Lord, the devourer cannot come to my dwellings. In the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of devourer in my home, in my finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, Lord. Because my finances are divinely protected. I cover me, my finances with the blood of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. That God will protect us from unexpected delay, disappointment and frustration. We have our goals. We have our expectation. We have our desire. No matter what, there are no more delay. We come against the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus. Father, we come against... Open your mouth and say, Father, I come against the spirit of delay. Whatever that is right, Father, that right opportunity will come at the right time. With I will meet you with the right person at the right time. With and everything will be right with me in the name of Jesus, because you are guiding my footsteps. Hey, Father, guide my footsteps. Guide my footsteps. Surround me. You have promised to surround me. You say you will help me in behind and before, because you lay your hands upon me. Father, in the name of Jesus, right? because your hand is laid upon me. You have built head your fire. You have encircled me in front and in back. Therefore, I will not make right, the wrong decision. No more delay. No more setback. No more frustration. I come against the spirit of frustration in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray against being sabotaged and being hindered. Any way that anyone wants to sabotage me, sabotage my children, hinder me for my blessing, the Abrahamic blessing that the Lord has promised me, the help that God has promised me, I come against this in Jesus' name. I come against the spirit of sabotage. I come against the spirit of being hindered. I will not be hindered from my blessings. I will not be hindered by my blessing because oh God goes before me. The Lord goes before me. He's behind me and he's before me. His hand is laid upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray for protection for, in, in our faith from faltering, falling, failing on being unproductive. Just like I said, the Bible told us if you have faith as small as a small star seed, as small as a small star seed, you will move mountains. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against 
failing of faith to God. I will be, my faith will be strong. Give me strong faith. Give me great faith. Faith in your word. Strong faith in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will not falter. I will not fail. I will not be unproductive. I will be effective throughout this year. I will study the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord will build me up. In the name of Jesus Christ. I shall be built up in faith. I shall be strong in faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord will walk in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let's pray for protection of mediocrity, inconsistency, and barrenness. Father, we come against every series of mediocrity. We shall not be medical. We shall be extraordinary. We shall be extraordinary. In everything we lay our hands upon, we shall be extraordinary. In the name of Jesus, we shall live an extraordinary life. We shall live an extraordinary life. We shall not live a life of mediocre. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall live an effective life. Say, Lord, make me to live an extraordinary life. Make me to live an extraordinary life. Let me to live an extraordinary life. My children shall live an extraordinary life. We shall not be mediocre. In the name of Jesus, we shall not be barren. We shall not be inconsistent. We shall be consistent with the word of the Lord. We shall not be like the seed that wavers up and down. We are holding on to the word of the Lord. My children, hold on to the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for our spiritual growth and stagnation and backwardness. Say, Lord, I will not go backward. I'm moving forward. Each day of this year, I move forward. Each day of this world, I move forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, I move forward. My children move forward. No more backwardness. Forward ever, backward never. Forward ever, backward never. Forward ever, backward never. I decree and declare that whatever I do, I move forward in the name of Jesus. I will not move backward. I will not move backward. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray for protection against our marriages and crisis and this, from crisis and destruction. We're going to pray for ourselves, for our marriages. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, add new wine to our marriages. Add new wine, sweet honey to our marriages, to our children's marriage. Our children will be united in love. They will be, he said, how sweet and pleasant for brethren to dwell together in unity. Say, in my home, we shall dwell in, in unity. My children's marriage shall dwell in unity. Their spouses, they shall dwell together in unity. In the name of Jesus Christ, of God. Father, we decree and declare, put pure love, agape love in our home, in our marriage, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, let there be unconditional love for one another, unconditional love, unconditional love in our families, in our home, in our children's marriages. In the name of Jesus Christ, my children shall dwell together in love. They will dwell together in, in agape love. There will be agape love in the home of every of my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you, Lord. So shall it be in Jesus Christ's name. Let's pray for protection from this integration, discord, and this unity. Father, we pray for unity. We pray for unity in our homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for one accord, one harmony. How one harmony. It is sweet for us to dwell together, to live in love, to share love, to share peace, to share together. Father, we ask for togetherness in our home. We ask for love in our home. We ask for peace in our home. We ask for joy, unspeakable joy in our homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Our passion and hunger for God from this diminishing. Father, we ask of you that our passion for God will not diminish. Just like I, I exhorted us earlier, we will not allow the coronavirus from stopping us from going to church, from attending church. Some of us will say we are doing online, but what we are doing online, we are doing other things. We are distracted. Let's not deceive ourselves. You are distracted. If you, are, if you are focused on that, you'll be just as if you're in church, you'll be making comments when you're online, you'll be talking online, we'll see your comment that yes, you are you're 100% online. Are we actually, those of us who do online, are we actually online? Ask ourselves that question. Are you actually studying the word? Are you actually believing that you're doing that thing that you're supposed to do when you're not even in, in person church? If you're healthy enough, let's go to church. Let's go. Let's worship God. God is our protector. He will protect us. But if you're not able to go when you're doing online, give yourself 100%. And join the church online. Give your tithe. Give your offering. Make comments. If there's comment section, make comments. Make all those damn shows that you are there. But when you are there, you, you're one, your one feet is in the, in the pile. You are there. You are in the kitchen. You are doing this. You are doing that. How are you focused? How are you studying? How is the word entering to you? Maybe it is the time you went to take the water. That's when the word for you will go come to pass. So let's focus on those of us who are doing church online. 
And God will bless us in Jesus' name. Let's pray for churches and come from, from chaos and confusion in the name of Jesus. Father, protect us from chaos, protect us from confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for our children. Let's pray for our children. That our children shall be protected. They will not be bullied. They will not be victimized. They will not be killed. They will not be manipulated in the name of Jesus Christ. We mark our children with the mark of the blood. We mark every of our children with the mark of the blood. Our children will not be bullied. Our children will not be victimized. Our children will not be killed. Our children will not be manipulated. Our children will, 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 will clean them from evil, evil, addictive habits in the name of Jesus Christ. We retrieve our children from bad gangs, wrong people in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, unhealthy belief in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our children shall believe the word of the Lord. They shall hold on to the word of the Lord and the word of the Lord shall walk in their life in the name of Jesus. Our children shall walk in the ways of the Lord all the days of their life. They will hear the word of the Lord. They will follow the word of the Lord. They will have the mind of Christ. Every of our children shall have the mind of Christ. Say, my children have the mind of Christ. My children have the mind of Christ. My children have the mind of Christ, mind of Christ. in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for our career and businesses from failure and setback. This year, we shall not see no setback, no failure. God is not a failure. Our father will not fail. Father, then I will not fail. My father is not a failure. I will not fail. Whatsoever I lay my hands upon this year, I prosper. Whatsoever I do this year, I prosper. Because the beauty of the Lord rests upon me. The beauty of the Lord rests upon me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare that my business prosper. My job prosper. My home. Everything I do this year concerning my finances and my businesses, I prosper. No more setback. It shall be forward ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you compass us with favor as with a shield, even in our business. Therefore, we shall not, there will not be set back. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's pray for our mental and emotional health from stress and breakdown. Father, we ask of you that as men that are depressed, as men that are having anxiety issue, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, because you have given us the mind of Christ, because we have the mind of Christ, because we, are, we believe that we are accepted in the beloved, Jesus loves us unconditionally. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we rest upon God's love. We rest upon Christ's love. Christ loves us. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, deliver us from emotional stress and breakdowns in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare ourselves from being destroyed from insecure, envious, and wicked people. In the name of Jesus, Father, every envious person around me, Father of oh God, take them away from me. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, Father, any envious person, any devilish person, any wicked person, the evil insecure people. Well, because when people are insecure, they can do and undo because they are not secure in themselves. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, any some anyone around about me that is insecure around me, anyone that have wicked intention, anyone that have evil intention, any envious people, Father, in the name of Jesus. Take them away from me. Expose them, oh God. Take them away from them. Expose them and take them far away from me. In the name of Jesus, I am surrounded by godly people. I am surrounded by godly people. I am surrounded by god, go, godly people and godly people. People that fear God. People that have agape love in their heart towards me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare and declare that our hope shall not be cut short. Our hope shall not be disappointed. I decree and I declare that my hope will not be cut short. My hope will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Let's pray the last prayer. He said, our life, our family, our connection, our investment, and our property from demonic assignment and protection and manipulation. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we protect our family, our connection, our investment, our property from demonic assignment and manipulation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We thank you because you have heard our prayers. We thank you because you have heard to our prayers. We thank you, oh God. It's a done deal with you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you. Pastor, praise. Take over. I'm sorry.